Today I will share five best spots you won't believe exist in England. 1. Isles of Scilly. The Isles of Scilly, a mesmerizing archipelago located off the Cornwall coast in southwest England, are known for their captivating beauty and unique charm. The main islands of St. Mary's, Tresco, St. Martin's, Briar, and Stagnus each have their individual alia. With the postcode TR21, the Isles of Scilly offer a tranquil retreat away from the hustle and bustle of mainland life. The best time to visit these enchanting islands is during the late spring and early summer, from May to June, when the weather is mild and the islands are beautifully carpeted with wildflowers. During this time, you can enjoy long sunny days and experience the islands at their most vibrant. The Isles of Scilly are famous for their extraordinary natural beauty, rich wildlife, and pristine beaches. They are also renowned for their ancient heritage sites and the world-famous Tresco Abbey Garden, home to a stunning collection of exotic plants from around the world. The peaceful lifestyle, warm hospitality, and breathtaking landscapes make the Isles of Scilly a must-visit destination for any traveler. 2. Thor's Cave Thor's Cave is a natural cavern located in the Manifold Valley of the White Peak in Staffordshire, England. This stunning geological masterpiece is situated around 285 meters above sea level, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding landscapes. The best time to visit Thor's Cave is from late spring to early autumn when the weather is generally pleasant, allowing visitors to fully enjoy the beauty of the cave and its surroundings. It's a popular spot for adventure seekers and history buffs alike. The cave is famous for its immense archaeological significance. It's believed to have been occupied by humans as far back as 10,000 BC. Excavations have revealed ancient tools, burial remains, and fossilized animal bones, providing valuable insights into the prehistoric era. Thor's cave is not just a scenic spot, but also a window into our ancestral past, making it a must-visit location for anyone interested in natural beauty and history. 3. Lady Bower Reservoir Lady Bower Reservoir, located in the upper Derwent Valley of Derbyshire, England, is a spectacular blend of natural beauty and human ingenuity. This man-made lake was built between 1935 and 1943, with its primary purpose being to supply water to the East Midlands and South Yorkshire. The reservoir is framed by lush green hills, creating a picturesque scene that is a delight to photographers and nature lovers alike. It's not just its stunning beauty that sets Lady Bower apart. The reservoir is also known for its two distinctive bellmouth overflows, often referred to as plug holes. Besides, it serves as a memorial to the villages of Ashopton and Derwent, which were submerged during the reservoir's construction. With walking trails, cycling routes, and fishing opportunities, Lady Bower Reservoir is a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts. It also holds historical significance as it was used by the Dumbusters for practice runs during the Second World War. The best time to visit Lady Bower Reservoir largely depends on what you're looking to experience. If you are seeking vibrant greenery and blooming wildflowers, plan your visit in the spring or early summer when the landscape is bursting with fresh life. This period also sees a surge in bird activity, making it excellent for bird watching. Autumn offers a spectacular display of colors, with the surrounding hills turning a beautiful mix of orange, red, and yellow. If you're lucky, you might even witness the reservoir's plug holes in action after heavy rainfall during this period. Winter, while colder, paints a serene, frosty picture often with misty mornings and crisp, clear days. Regardless of the season, it's always advisable to check the weather forecast before your visit, as conditions in the Derbyshire countryside can change rapidly. The reservoir area is usually quieter on weekdays, making them ideal for those seeking a peaceful retreat. Lady Bower Reservoir holds a unique appeal for tourists for several reasons. Its iconic plug holes, or bellnerf overflows, are a distinctive feature that fascinates visitors. When water levels are high, these overflows create a dramatic whirlpool effect, making for a mesmerizing spectacle and stunning photographs. The reservoir is also steeped in history, 
It serves as a poignant memorial to the villages of Ashopton and Derwent, submerged during the reservoir's construction. Additionally, during the Second World War, the Dam Busters used the reservoir to practice their low-level flying techniques, adding to its historical significance. Nature lovers are drawn to Lady Bower for its lush landscapes and diverse wildlife. It offers a variety of outdoor activities like walking, cycling, and fishing, making it a haven for outdoor enthusiasts. The reservoir's location, nestled in the Peak District National Park, means it's not just the water itself that's an attraction. The surrounding hills, valleys, and moorlands offer stunning views and ample opportunities for hiking and exploration. With its blend of natural beauty, intriguing history, and outdoor adventures, Lady Bower Reservoir is a magnet for tourists. 4. St. Audrey's Bay St. Audrey's Bay is situated on the Bristol Channel coast of West Somerset, England. It's located between the villages of Watchet and West Quantock Said. This beautiful bay is surrounded by cliffs and has a waterfall that descends to the beach. It's a picturesque location with a rich natural environment, making it a popular destination for holidaymakers and nature lovers. St. Audrey's Bay is renowned among tourists for its unique blend of natural beauty and tranquility. The bay is nestled within an area of outstanding natural beauty, featuring a stunning waterfall that cascades down cliffs directly onto the beach. Its beach is also known for its fossil-rich rocks, making it a hotspot for fossil hunting. Moreover, its location between two charming villages offers visitors the opportunity to explore local history, culture, and cuisine. This combined with the breathtaking views of the Bristol Channel makes Street Audrey's Bay an irresistible destination for those seeking a peaceful retreat amidst nature. The best time to visit Street Audrey's Bay depends largely on what you're hoping to experience. If you're interested in mild weather and outdoor activities like hiking or bird watching, then the spring and summer months, from May to September, are ideal. During this time, the temperatures are comfortable, ranging from 15 to 25 degrees Celsius, and the scenery is lush and vibrant. For those interested in fewer crowds and a peaceful atmosphere, the autumn months, particularly October, can be perfect. The weather is slightly cooler, but the autumnal colors make the landscape breathtakingly beautiful. However, if you're a fan of dramatic natural beauty, you might want to consider visiting in the winter. The bay can be particularly striking during this time, with the waterfall and waves against the cliffs creating a spectacular view. In any case, Street Audrey's Bay is a stunning location year-round, offering different attractions each season. Remember to check the tide times before you visit, as the beach is only accessible during low tide. 5. Revolts Abbey is situated in the village of Revolks, near Helmsley in North Yorkshire, England. It's nestled in the beautiful North York Moors National Park. The Abbey is a former Cistercian monastery and is now maintained by English Heritage. One of the top facts about Revolts Abbey is that it was founded in 1132 by Walter Esbeck, a powerful Norman lord, and was one of the wealthiest and most influential Cistercian monasteries in medieval England. The abbey quickly grew in both wealth and reputation, becoming a center of religious and economic power. Its strategic location in the North York Moors National Park provided a serene and picturesque setting for the monks to live and worship. The abbey's impressive architecture, including its iconic ruins of the church, chapter house, and cloister, showcases the grandeur and craftsmanship of the medieval era. Revolt Abbey's rich history and well-preserved ruins continue to attract visitors from around the world, offering a glimpse into the past and a serene retreat in nature. Revolt Abbey is famous among tourists for its stunning ruins and rich history. Founded in 1132, it was one of the wealthiest and most powerful Cistercian monasteries in medieval England. The Abbey's picturesque setting in the North York Moors National Park adds to its appeal, making it a popular destination for visitors interested in history, architecture, and natural beauty. The Abbey's well-preserved ruins provide a glimpse into the past and offer a peaceful and scenic spot for exploration and contemplation. The best time to visit Revolt Abbey is during the spring and summer months, from April to September. During this time, the weather is generally milder, allowing visitors to explore the Abbey ruins and enjoy the surrounding landscapes comfortably. The lush greenery and blooming flowers add to the beauty of the site, creating a picturesque backdrop for a relaxing and immersive experience. Additionally, 
visiting during the summer months provides longer daylight hours, giving visitors more time to explore the abbey and its surroundings. Overall, spring and summer offer the ideal conditions for a memorable and enjoyable visit to Revolts Abbey.